Hello, today is a video on how to connect a chameleon, C-H-A-M-E-L-E-O-N, Technology UK Limited, 2019 generation uh, smart meter, what they might call probably an in-home display, to your Wi-Fi network. Um, it's pretty difficult to do with many, many button presses. So what you need to know are uh, the buttons which I'm going to talk you through using. They are just the bottom right three buttons, the one which is marked as OK, and then there is a left arrow and a right arrow. First, press on the OK button. Use the right hand arrow to go over to settings, and then press the OK button. Press the right hand arrow again and again to go to Wi-Fi options, and press OK. Press OK on switch on Wi-Fi. After a while of saying switching on Wi-Fi, it will give you further options. So press OK on join network, which should already be selected. If you're lucky enough to have a router which has a WPS push button function, which works, you can use that. However, uh, this was setting it up with a BT Home Hub, and for some reason the WPS function was failing, so we needed to type in the Wi-Fi password. At this stage, if you knew you had working WPS, you would press OK right now, and then follow the instructions of, within two minutes, holding down the WPS button for a couple of seconds on your router, and the two devices should just connect. However, if you're like me and you needed to type in the password, press the right hand arrow to go over to scan for networks and then press OK. For a short period, it will say no networks found and then it will update with the list of wireless networks. Uh, there's only one wireless network which it showed for me, which is the correct wireless network. So I am just going to press OK. However, if it's showing the wrong Wi-Fi network for your house, press the right arrow until you see your wireless network. Now we're at the stage where you need to fill in a Wi-Fi password. This is where it gets very tedious to type something in. At this stage, it's giving you the option on the, in the bracket, so A to Z. So the first thing I want to enter is an uppercase V. If your password starts with a lowercase, you need to use the arrow right now on this screen where it's got A-Z in the brackets to select the lowercase. In my case, I need an uppercase, so I'm just going to press OK because I need the capital, the uppercase. Now, I need to press left or right to go to the first letter of my Wi-Fi password. In this case, it's a V, so I highlight the V and then press the OK button. Now it's updated to show V as a capital, which is what I wanted. The default option is to save and then try and connect to the network, but I'm not actually finished typing in the Wi-Fi password. So I now need to press left or right to select a different type of letter. Uh, so a bit like earlier where we had the uppercase A to Z, um, I now need lowercase letters. So this is where I'll now need to go left until it's got the A to Z in lowercase and then press OK. We're now at the point of selecting the letter that we want to enter so I need to do an E and then OK. And I don't want to save it at this stage because again my password is not just VE it's a much longer password so I now need to press the left and right arrow to select the uh, lowercase letters again press OK enter the next letter and repeat that over and over until I've finished entering the password. <clears throat> now my password ends in some numbers. So I now need to go over to the 0 to 9, press OK, do the first number, and then repeat it again because it's got two numbers in it. So go over to the second, 
Now I'm ready to save because I filled in the password correctly. I can now click on uh, while it's got save in the brackets, I can now press OK, which will initiate the connection to my Wi-Fi network. You can see in the top left, the wireless icon starts flashing. And eventually should go solid. There we go, the wireless icon's gone solid and the screen has returned to the normal home screen. If this video has been useful to you, it would be super helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the notification option switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.